My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Against the Storm. We are here in a particularly successful trade settlement, attempting to choose which of these trade options we would like to get. Protected trade is hostility reduced by 15 points every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. I will say we are doing a lot of sales at the moment. Immediately one of those would go through as soon as the trade with Minasaurothil is finished. There's also plus one to Global Resolve every time you sell goods worth 40 amber. I think I just need help with Global Resolve in the meantime. I think I take frequent caravans. For plus three to Global Resolve for 60 seconds every time you finish a trade route, duration stacks. And ideally, stack that duration forever. Let's also have a look at our group of newcomers. 42 mushrooms. Sounds good to me. Sounds very good to me. It's time, obviously, to stop sacrificing the wood that I've been using so much of, uh, as well as to get people back into woodcutting. Try and help out from all of the uh, other losses we've been making in the point. Harpies in... 46 seconds, you're gonna have a ton enough time there to freak out. Maybe. 25 seconds, probably not. I'll give you favor, and then drop the favor literally as soon as the negative resolve from the event is complete. There we go. Small, de uh, small destroyed caravan is now finished. We get ourselves five more trade goods. Any other trade relationships that I can establish here? We have 41 stone that we could sell. We could get 16 amber in return for that. Insects. I actually need those insects, and I'm not really getting more at this point either, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm going to sell four stacks of stone here. And, in fact, it will even come back within Drizzle, so I'm going to get even more packs of goods. If I get enough packs of trade goods, that completes goods for the Citadel as well, actually. Here's hoping. Um, 2 minutes and 24 seconds. Wow, I literally just don't have enough time to uh, get those insects traded. Um, it looks like packs of building materials would require some provisions. If I could get 6 packs of provisions, that building material trade would actually be really good for us. Six packs of provisions would be lovely. I also think it's probably not important to be making bricks at this point in time. I've got a lot of them in excess. This is one fabric off of completion. I can throw a couple of people into a granary in order to generate that fabric. And in fact, I'll throw a third. Looks like fabric could be something that I could stock up a little bit on happily. So make sure that the stone production down here is continuing at a reasonable rate. Let's also move this woodcutter's camp over to start opening that zone up. Gives me access to the next forbidden, or rather next dangerous glade. So that's for the packs of trade again, and yes, now I have enough to sell three lots, in fact, to Willowheim here. Uh, sure, one set of insects as well. Actually, if we can break into the Bidden Glade down in the bottom left, Maybe that's the direction I want to be cutting right now. We'll have to cut through one of these intermediate glades. But... I think it's a good idea. Let's start it. Okay. All's well at the moment. Season's about to change, so I should be ready just in case it's relevant for trades that I needed to do at the time. It's not. This Greybone has arrived. 
Lore Keeper of the Vanguard of the Stolen Keys. We have Treasures of the Past the Crown won't miss back in the smoldering city. Plus three, two cosmetics production. Uh, an additional one resolve to all villages that have a home is not half bad. Villages move 10% quicker. No huge downside to that one either. I'm going to take the furniture first, and then when I get the money, I'll take the sturdy boots. I say when I get the money because... Uh, one minute and 18 seconds... Actually, no, I'm not going to have the money in time. Unless... You gave me 12? Could I even meet that, really? Bags of trade goods, bunch of luxury goods. I have to sell simple tools, maybe. Single wildfire essence. I don't know, 10% movement speed is probably not worth that to me right now. Oh, even more soil! That's huge. Me actually having access to some farms would be a real, real game changer. Denied on game changer! Uh, we have space for plants! Explorer's Lodge also filled to the absolute brim, giving us a total of plus four resolve to every single person on the map. God, I'm giddy to have that. Absolutely all get it up. Let's get this woodcutter's camp further over to the other one. Also, no, don't actually break into the Forbidden Glade if you can stop it, please. Much preferred. Now, if I go to my... Oh, trade routes are popping off again. If I go to my consumption controls and tell everyone, hey, no raw foods. No raw food stuffs for y'all. Ideally, that will leave them consistently with... Um, I guess I'm getting the meat from the trees at the moment. Yeah, plus four meat per meat. I would love to find actual meat in the environment as well. My god. We're ridiculous at this rate. Um... It means that our food production for biscuits might be available and online. So, the apothecary... Where are we? Um, I mean... Honestly, totally fine position for the apothecary there. And get this to construct... Yes, actually, if you can use roots for this, then I will never use roots for the flower. Get that to construct biscuits for us. Because everyone here loves biscuits. Apothecary. Seriously. That's going to be incredible for us. It's also going to help us complete human relatives. The need for biscuit fulfilled for everyone. Also having a look back here. We do actually have a half established up here. So let's put down another garden. And then... Some shrines and posts. And finally, we just need some more aesthetic. Um. I mean, honestly, this area is probably just not going to be used otherwise. So let's go with something like this. Little, little, uh, little gated fire shrines there. Wooden gates right around the fire shrine, just to make sure that it's perfectly safe. Okay. Also looks like we have now established enough of a foothold over there to move our other woodcutters. The foothold in particular being our ability now to settle with a farm. Oh, traits? I remember these were nutty and then I didn't come back and actually do any of them. Packs of provisions go for a great rate. Wait, hang on, uh, 12 for 8. 
I can save two packs of provisions per stack if I trade to Willowheim instead. Definitely can't afford to give you the meat instead, though. Seelum, I still need to get two more transactions with you before we actually increase our relationship. Is that worth it? Maybe. It really depends on what other ones I'm going to be taking. So, definitely want to send out bricks. I'm going to have a ridiculous amount of bricks consistently. So, this would leave me with 11 left over. Just not, not to complete the other brick trade also. I'm going to go one there and then two bricks here. Maybe I do sell a single stack of meat. Slightly easier way to increase the relationship again with Willowheim there. I just feel like I need that meat. So maybe I'll have an easier time getting rid of Fabric instead. Fabric and 13, provisions to Sydney. Oh, the Apocalypse 3 is going absolutely wild with its turn up there. Uh, I did actually not mean to break into the dangerous Forbidden Glade uh, at the start of the season. Or it's, uh, at this time. Oops. It's giving... Plus. 600 points of hostility while we're working on it. That that just guarantees that my entire storm is going to be a nightmare. Okay, how do I fix this? How do I fix this? How do I fix this? Uh, one way to try and fix this, we can pick up some sea marrow to try and speed up our... Uh, speed up our harvest later. Our completion of the actual event rather later. Some medium abandoned cash here. Coats, some leather, some reed. Um. Oh, blast suit of fabric production as well as fifteen parts. Forty scrolls. That's that's really good. That's also the forty scrolls. I do have uh, the explorer's lodge, which I believe does give education right now. So that should that should go an absolute treat for us. Boy. Seven seconds until the storm. Traders on their way. One arrived during the storm. Ah, uh, no. So, if we fail to meet this event, it destroys four random buildings in the settlement with its lightning strike. It's kind of just the future I'm looking at, really. Don't feel extremely empowered to mitigate that one. Let's take everyone out of their woodcutting camps right now. And then if I sacrifice two stacks of wood, that's enough to get us to a reasonable amount of resolve left over. Basically at the end of this season, I'm going to need to send people to go and confront the lightning catcher. people back into the granary as well and tell them to use different materials. Storm's getting towards over. Don't really have any trades I can make during it though. Yeah, for the plus 600 I'm just going to have to do it like now. Top 10 tips on how to cook more efficiently. Gain 10 jerky for every 10 pie produced. Incredible. Sealder's resolve here is... Oh my god, I love it. Um, boom. Gets us out of the storm, thankfully, and saves us from all the problems that we were currently dealing with. 
Then we also have this event, which I am currently taking all of the materials to. Hey, I'm actually going to complete that in time, still. Even without the... Uh, even without the sea marrow, which I do have to possibly sacrifice to speed it up if need be. Now the cornerstone is available. Ooh, wow! Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So Hilda's secret cookbook. Gain 10 jerky for every 10 pie produced. Now money, sorry, now food rather is not a problem for us whatsoever. All I have to do is make meat, make pies at all. And everyone will be eating jerky, pies, and uh, biscuits. <laughs> I love a broad solution. Solving many problems at the same time. Very effective. Invite some new people on in. Uh, that's probably not going to get us above the next level of clearance. Do I need new people right now, though? Is it possible that new people might actually hum? I think so. I don't know if I need any new people. And they do invite higher hostility. So with 45 people, we have 270 hostility. So for 45 people, 270 hostility, that's six? Six hostility apiece? Actually, that seems much more reasonable. I definitely, definitely, definitely don't need the stone. Although I will say that now it is time for us probably to set up some paved paths to our most commonly... Ah, ha ha! Of course, that's all gone. That would make sense as to why I have all of this stone. Um, to our most commonly accessed areas. Uh, I mean, obviously joining these two up would be sick as well. Beautiful. And of course... All the way out there, too. And heck, we'll finish that circuit. That all looks really good to me. Yep, the Harpies actually have enough negative resolve here, and I haven't even thrown people back onto using the woodcutters camps yet. Oh boy. Hmm. That's a wee bit of a problem. How am I going to solve this in general? I think Stonecutter's Camp's done. Fair enough. This one's just delivering a couple left. Let's see, just take that apart. So I can get slightly more resolve for a bunch of people at the same time. can't really clothe the beavers. I mean, the harpy should be getting jerky from my Sahildas really, really soon. Which will make the harpy pretty happy. In fact, I'm gonna call for Sulfur to arrive sooner. I have a lot of money and I need to spend it on something. I need to get value with it, realistically, is what I'm looking for. Just Annie. Okay, just finished a trade route, which I believe activated our, there we go, plus three to global resolve for a minute from the frequent caravans. Pottery, I mean, yeah, I could absolutely do that right now. Immediately, in fact. So what, which of these has the absolute shortest period? is the single stack of pottery. Sounds good to me. Then Sulthor has arrived. Great, very, very happy with Sulthor's results here. Alchemist's Hut, in case I want to be able to make the wine. Eh, not so much. Ways of the Forest for the negative 50 hostility, absolutely essential to me in this point. 
more goods than I might be able to trade for other things? Not as much. A bunch of herbs, which I'll... Oh, I have to give you all of my air before at this point. It's a tough trade, admittedly. But I have to do it. That'll give me the ability to start making more of our... Uh, more of our biscuits. Currently have roots for that. And we will have herbs afterwards as well. Hmm. You're not selling anything else I could use to make flour, are you? No, but you are selling the training gear and incense and things like that. I could probably give some people some religion for a period of time if I wanted to. Check back in on that if it's relevant. Come on, harpies. Please start eating the jerky. Thank you. It's for you. Uh, I'm going to turn off vegetable production in both of our farms at this point as well. Human relatives. 50 mushrooms. Thank you. I really, really need those. We'll also get plus three to global resolve for all humans as well as five humans. The mushrooms now give us the ability to... Yeah. Get the supplier to generate even more useful material for us. Four minutes and 18 seconds till there. There's also the ability to get a herbalist's camp to get large herb nodes here. Probably not important. Stamping mill, weaver, tavern, and cooperage. So, I already have leisure, right? Do I not? Yeah, I have leisure in the monastery already. So it comes down to actually making and supplying a brewery. The brewery itself with... I mean, roots it would happily accept. Use some barrels. We, we can end up supporting that chain, so I do want to get it down and, and start investing in it as a possibility. Uh, Sophie, you're still here. Nothing I can really do with you at the moment, but another trade route, maybe. Packs of trade goods? Six of them for seven amber in return? Simple tools are still being bought at a reasonable rate because that's kind of always the case. Excuse me? That's one part for seven in return. Yeah, Asylum, I'm going to sell you 35. <laughs> Thank you. Keep our relationship going swell. Let's have a check in with the kiln at the moment, which is currently struggling to produce jerky. That's okay. I gotta remind you, kiln, that you should actually just be making coal. That's it. Uh, and in fact, only make coal up to a total of 50. If you go significantly beyond that, uh, things have occurred that are problems. Honestly, that's probably about where I want the kiln to be at this point. Uh, back to the woodcutters camps. Hard to throw more people into them because it just gets the the harpies angry at me. Oh no, the harpies aren't angry enough. Never mind. Gonna go absolutely feral. Never mind. <laughs> Gonna immediately remove part of that feral resolution. Okay. A. I mean, I do want to go back to housing again. It's the final camp in this area hasn't been built? Excuse me? Final park, rather, in this area? That's how you try and make a hundred, but there's only going to be one of you doing it at a time. Okay, so that is the small hearth advanced again. Great. One more building here as well as some more specializations. So let's get I mean basically human houses. Oh man. I need to make a bunch of bricks again. I hate having to do that. 
Let's also see if I can't get a decent amount of brew. Actually, man, I don't want to make pickled goods at all. It's going to require making pottery and other things in order to actually start the chain up. Um, if I really wanted to, I could get a small farm starting to act down in this area, which I do really want. So I will really get. Let's get... Some stone cutting there. Small farm faces down this way. We set up the farm fields directly aside it. And then ultimately the path in here is something like that. We can even set up a forager's camp. And a second one because I just have a lot of excess parts at this point. As soon as that 600 hostility is gone, we're back in the game. The fact is that I can actually kind of hold par right now with 600 hostility, which it bodes well. It bodes really well. Also continually looking for more simple goods. Looking back at our trades. Uh, wow, two for six. Asylum, you are nuts for these, and I love it. Crazy for these ones. And in fact, uh, Sydney is also absolutely buck wild for them. And I will reap reward for it. Six minutes and 19 seconds. Yeah, okay, so that will not come before the storm. Makes sense. Da -da 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 -da. Woo! We did it! I'm gonna tell you all to stop making bricks again. Because currently the not making of pies is about to starve us, and also it's not making any jerky, which we also need, so... Maybe... Take a 360 on that one and moonwalk away. Uh, time for us now to return to decreasing our hostility manually. In a way that feels very, very comfortable and appropriate. We now only even have to do one sacrifice of wood. Fuel efficiency is 200% lower right now, which does suck. And I think I would save a lot of fuel if I just used two more stacks of sacrificing wood to prevent that. Oh, that's a lot of pottery and barrels, in fact. That'll actually help us out a lot. Check back in with our brewer. Yep, going absolutely A-OK -okay and gunk busters in that. We've got people with education going on at the moment, as well as their leisure, as well as like all three of the complex foodstuffs that humans even eat. Oh my god. I feel so disconnected from the reputation bonuses, like I don't even really need them. Trade results! Oh man, that is a really good trade rate for coal as well! Oh boy. Soon as another trader arrives, I'm gonna have so much money for him again. I'm just going to take the shortest duration constantly and try and stack. Uh, <laughs> wow. Receive 10 amber for every uh, completed five trade routes. That's actually, like, in the early game, that would have been kind of okay for me. But I think it's so slow right now. 
Newcomers bring 40% more goods with them for every hub level gained. I have a lot of hub levels and I do take my newcomers. But I feel like what I really need is not a benefit right now. What I need is a way to transition towards victory. What I need is something that actually like... I mean, that's, that's, that's not really gonna solve it, but I will say Sihilda's secret cookbook giving us infinite jerky forever does heavily mitigate all of the rest of the problems that I could ever have. So sure, why not? Why not make things simple on myself like that? Get a couple new villages. I mean, some mushrooms if I really wanted them. Take the other one, obviously, though. And then this is already broken into. This is opened. Simple tool. I mean, I kind of just want to send to the Citadel and continue exploring into further areas again. Speaking of continuing to explore into further areas, I definitely need to get some woodcutters back. Great. And that looks like all of them that need to be there at the moment. Oh, no, there's another woodcutters down here. Beautiful. Okay. Let's expand and start just solving cases wherever I go. So I'll take that. Uh, down here would also be good for expansion. In fact, also the materials I'm going to cut through on my way towards expanding down here is mostly meat. And most of those meat stuffs are giving us a ridiculous amount of meat per meat right now. Let's... Man, I don't need that many parts is the thing. But I also don't have that many packs of provisions anymore. I have actually been working my way through those. Uh, I don't have a trade going off with Willowheim at the moment, but I do have one with Sydney. And Silem. So if I can now get one more trade with Willowheim before the end of this season. That'd be really good. Uh, fastest is honestly Sydney with the coal up here, but I'm going to want to use that coal later. So I think 1 minute and 52 sec- yeah, 1 minute and 52 seconds on Willow- wait, no, that wasn't even Willow doing that trade. Uh, this one. The packs of trade goods this is the one I'm looking for at the moment. Our next two are now clocked in, and Silum is offering really good rates on pretty much everything pretty much all the time yeah I'm just gonna take 40 out of some <laughs> and realistically I'm probably just gonna take another 28 out of Sydney we can have three places that we have a level three relationship with as well hell yeah Should be going exceptionally well for us. Hey, you also need to turn off your vegetable production. That's just not what we want. That's not what we do here. Our next opening is for escaped convicts. Negative 8 to global resolve while we're working on the event. Thankfully, we did get it slightly earlier than the previous one. Uh, gives us villages. Honestly, if I found this earlier, I probably would have taken the villages, but now I'm definitely just taking the money and... Sending the rest, Apothecary, this is just absolutely resolve in order to salvage, medium then in cash, plus 10% to all villager speed as well as plus 2 to barrel production. Honestly, I probably do just send to the Citadel again to be fully realistic. Liar. Uh, I'm going to unlimit your plank production. And also limit you to only grain now for your flour. Oh, baby. Bliss Grave owners arrived, and I've got so much money. Ridiculous. None of these are actually really, really huge. Uh, honestly, I'm probably going to just buy all of your education, all of your religion, all of your ale. All of your wine? No, that won't help me. All of your coats, though. 
And yeah, I will sell you whatever I need to in order to get that achieved. That's a luxury goods. Woo! Uh, and then finally, a couple pieces of coal until it patches over the gap. Wait for all of those goods. Uh, right, all the humans still not housed at this point. Need to house human. So that's 16 of them? No, 12 of them. Okay. Damn, I'm gonna need more plank production again. <laughs> mm, you're not selling planks, are you? Oh, I do have this trade open still, but I don't have the ability to do it with anything because I don't have any packs of provisions. Which means I definitely need to go and start making up to 50 packs of provisions at this point. The humans actually have every one of their things fulfilled. They are fully sheltered, they are fully housed, they have 143 jerky on retainer, they have biscuits, they have pie, they have clothing, they have leisure, and they have religion. Sure, some of that is just because I could pay for it. <laughs> sure. And yeah, that mitigates it a little. Sure. Oh, that's so much jerky I can sell. I mean, but then it's, it's still even for a very small money. A very small money return. I think I'm just gonna sell stone to Silum for 25 in return. It's even more tillable soil out here. I have so many reputation points, but I'm not using any of them. Um, this is a completely landlocked cutter at the moment. Send them out further. Get them something they can do. I should probably just pop down... Because I'm not going to make another half at this point. That's just... It's like... I'm not going to have enough time to make another half and do anything with it that's worthwhile before the end of the game. So at this point, what I really want to do is just make eight more aesthetic. So like... One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four. That's it. Then this and pretty much all things with simple tools are asking for people to just go and send them to the Citadel at this point. So now that's going to resolve. Again, do I have any other outstanding chests? Nope. Aesthetics is up, though. And that'll give me another 20 of the crystallized dew. So yeah, as soon as I put the, the tool shop down and put two beavers in it, it has just been making simple tools this entire game. No other effect. It's not being stalled whatsoever. It's not had any problems. It's constantly been pumping those out. And those have been a huge amount of our excess resolve here. We might actually finish this like sub an hour. I thought that this was maybe gonna take another hour and a half. I might have time to record another episode today. So much jerky. Crystallized you and five packs of provisions. 56. Takes so long to get them, though. Well, I mean, this is absolutely the significantly better trade for the Crystallized you if I'm going to be doing it at all. Significantly faster as well. Uh, you know what? It's definitely time to get rid of parts. They're not necessary. Well, 
is it definitely time to get rid of them? Do I need to get rid of them? Because if I don't, eh. maybe I can just hold on to them. Oh, this is significantly better as well. Uh, packs of building materials. I only need to give you 15 of them as well as 12 packs of provisions in order to get 39 back. Oh, right, the storm will have just begun. Yeah, everyone's got ridiculous negative resolve right now, so, of course, everyone pops off of wood cutting if they are wood cutting. Managing our resolve down significantly. I will be burning some coal here as well. Two stacks of coal, one stack of wood, and that keeps us at three. And then two more stacks of wood to keep us down to two. That'll actually make me a lot more comfortable. Resolve problems are gradually creeping in, unfortunately. As everyone is realizing that, yeah, they actually really wish they weren't uh, experiencing the negative eight resolve. Never mind, that has resolved and... Uh, not really fixed everything, unfortunately. <laughs> I unfortunately don't have enough to sacrifice to keep us where we are at the moment. So honestly, the harpies are just going to get kind of sad towards the end of this as the beavers save themselves. That should get us through to the other side of the storm, though. I have so many of these blueprints, and i they will... Could they theoretically matter to me? Absolutely. Will they? No. Not. <laughs> I'll, I'll lock that one in for you real early on. Absolutely not. <laughs> Time to get folk back into the woodcutters camps to expand and explore into areas that are going to give me more. This would be a good area to expand into also. Another forbidden. So I'll get a second woodcutter's camp over there. Cornerstone is right. Firekeeper's armor. No. Oh, actually, literally none of these are useful for me at this point in time. I'm going to take the oil for every 10 flour produced. It could maybe theoretically possibly help with something in a circumstance, maybe? I don't know if I could hedge my bets more in that sentence. If I could, I would have. I can promise that. I'm gonna tell you you can make up to 100 planks, because I don't trust you. Then I'm gonna tell you to uh, house all of the remaining beavers. And then the harpy. It's the harpies. Here opens our first dangerous glade. Ah, a stone tooth termite burrow. Unfortunately, oh, no, it can give me two ancient tablets and so can one of the chests in this area, combining to the four tablets that I need in order to get another reputation point. So here I will, I mean, oh, food production, all harvesting and planting is 80% uh, slower, as well as the negative eight to global resolve again. That never ends. It is the curse that never ends. I don't think I need new people again. There's so many people not doing anything. Why would I need new people? built around that area. Yep. Um, let's quickly move this harpy house up here. As well as one garden. Two parks. And some fire shrines. And some lizard posts. Let's take you all out of the makeshift post as well, noting that that's no longer relevant. Um... Uh, I almost want to try and, like, get to Relationship 3 with three different towns, because that might be rewarded by the game in some fashion. Something like a, a deed in particular. I've got my eyes set on there. Let's 
It's also this medium band cage down here, which I will absolutely loot. And in fact, yeah, my tool shop is now consistently active again. Good, good, good. Continue to increase my relationship with this town, thank you. Man, I just wish I had more trade goods. I know I keep giving them away, but... <laughs> what do you mean? That's preventing me from getting them in the first place. Leech Broodmother here. If I had a Trapper's Camp, that would be ridiculous. Obviously not necessary at all, though. Uh, time spent resting is reduced by 30% when under the effects of clothing. Trapper's Camp! There we go. I could get it right now if I needed to. I don't need to. So what have I got? Uh, fabric production. I mean, if I had coat production, that'd be sick. I'll take some coats, though. In the interim... And sure, let's take the ability to make more biscuits as well. You can have as much money as you require for that. There you go, cop that. Stonecutter says nothing nearby. Pull y'all up. Wait. That neighborhood, I actually need to move one more uh, house over to actually get this to flourish. But it has now happened. We've got another district. That is another plus 10 to global uh, extra production chance. That's also happening down here. Okay, now that that has not... Ooh, hang on. I'm literally going to take everyone off of their current interpretation of their job. Because I don't want them to actually try and cut down into the Forbidden Glade now. Not good timing for it. Is there anything else I can get from you that would be relevant and or worthwhile? Not that I can really think- I mean, you know... Getting more simple tools is actually the best thing I can even think of. I don't have enough clothing to give the buff via clothing. I mean, I could get a Trapper's Camp, but again, it's way too late to actually utilize in any significant fashion. I already have infinitely more meat than I'm ever going to need access to. I get eight meat every time I cut down a tree. A tree? Now it's time to make more biscuits, as I actually picked up the requirements for that. In fact, I could also start making some pickled goods, should I want to. And sure, I should want to. I'm going to tell you to make as many as you can out of those simple tools, because we are just going to expend all of them basically at the same period of time. Even more ale again. Newcomers are waiting. And they'll be waiting forever. I think we just let it run basically entirely through the storm, defend with all of the coal and all of the wood I have access to, and then at the start of the next season, we break into a dangerous glade and uh, finish the game. <laughs> Seems a simple enough pattern to me. I'm going to take all of our woodcutters off of woodcutting, as I mentioned. All right. All right. And then it's one stack of wood, two stacks of coal. Still a lot of negativity. I'm going to go for one more stack of coal, and then I'm going to throw some people in the kiln to try and support our coal production. Wow. That's not good. Eh. Two more stacks of wood, which is uh, all of the stuff that I'm using to make the coal. Uh-oh. We are very much just trying to extend to the very end. Reaching out an arm. <laughs> you 
And now everything goes wrong. Sure, I'm not going to prevent everyone from running away right now. <laughs> Stop to that sentence. There goes a harpy. Oh, they were just a builder. That's all good. There goes a harpy as well as another beaver. And a flooding back of all of our resolve. Negative 40 for every hostility, sorry, negative 40 hostility for every hub upgraded to the neighborhood level or higher. All trade routes being fostered by 40% does sound good, but I really don't think it's actually going to come into play before the end of the game again. Let's burn that down, and you are the ones doing it. And then literally it's just open any of the caches that we clap eyes upon. Obviously Ancient Tablets is ready to pop as well. That's just another reputation point in the wings for us. Not only that, but it's also going to give us access to some more foodstuffs that are going to be particularly handy. Here it is. The Fishman Outpost. Cooked and raw food is disappearing at a rate of six every ten seconds, and with each fallen tree, they get angrier. Um, but I'm gonna just walk straight past them to these abandoned caches, which I will open and you know, four minutes. Take four minutes for those. At the non-sped up speed, so significantly faster for us. Minasaur Hill, can I get three more trades off with you before the end of the game? Try and get the next town to three as well. So the only reason we were allowed to let so many of these languish and be so not perfect with a lot of the end game here is because we managed to find a way to escape. We found something with kind of like the escape velocity to break the pull of gravity on this earth and just end up in meat space. Without the support of something like that, eh, I might have needed a lot more other things. Uh, for pies? Let me get the hundred at once. Looking back over here, 159, the three, and yep. Sulfur has arrived? Hi, Sulfur. I got a lot of money. Additional plus one went under the effect of leisure. Lower storm duration, higher coal. I mean, I'm gonna buy the incense and the training gear just to make people happy. I'm gonna overpay for it, there you go. Why not? I think this was a good run. I do find myself often looking for similar kinds of things every run, like how am I going to generate kind of like absurd amounts of uh, value, things that ball out of control, like meat specialization, grain specialization, mushroom specialization, fungal guide. Uh, Alternatively, you're some sort of a trade economy, and I feel like I'm I'm straddling the two of those in that period of time. It's working very, very effectively. I will say that. Prestigious Expedition 11. We've won a game on Prestige 11 or higher. Let's jump back out so that we can turn in that deed. Ah, that's also going to be the final that we can establish in this period of time. Mr. Jibber River is it. Let's go for the Smoldering City. Well, actually, hang on. I, I'll turn in my deed first, and then I will jump back and end the session. Hey, we actually won! So, ultimately, we are fighting against the Vanguard of the Stolen Keys, the Brass Order, the First Dawn Company. All of these we're fighting against to establish dominance over this map. And we've actually managed to get the majority. We have uh, a lot from our towns. We've got high modifiers for completing challenging modifiers. 
Uh, we've got some from all taken fields uh, for area controlled and the farthest expedition we took from the base. That also contributes then to our influence rewards of 187 in the food stockpile, 10 in machinery, and 34 in artifacts. By ending the cycle, we will destroy all of the settlements established by any of the folk there, setting up for a blank slate to explore again in the future. But also, leaving me with a ridiculous glut of resources here to spend. Hell yeah. Now, I was getting ready for, uh, where are you? I was getting ready for the access of... Trapper's Camp. Trapper's Camp is what I wanted to get as soon as possible. So that now I have the ability in Marshlands especially just to spawn with the Trapper's Camp already in my hands. Um, I mean, after that, I could also go... Oh, Queen's Impatience doesn't seem good after that. Herb garden, although it requires... Oh, well, I also want plantation, so sure. I will push through plantation to get to herb garden there. And then I could get one of the 72s if I really wanted to. Uh, I don't think those are as impactful. Resources sacrificed in the hearth burn, 10% longer. Just in general? Yeah, okay, that actually seems like it's a lot more impactful than I might be giving it credit for. For the moment, though. My name is Brown Absolutely, the name of the game has been Against the Storm. Series playlist is up in the top left. That was a successful Prestige 11 right there, if I do say so myself. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all my content of the game, past, present, and future. Uh, stream past in the names of the people who are generally supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rashley Plays, at or above the thank to special thanks to episode 2 Silly. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself.